Hello friends, my name is Elaine Friend and I'm here to teach a little breathing exercise meditation that is adapted from a one that is on Insight Timer that I just love by Liesl van der Hoven. It's called Bubble Fingers Breath Exercise and this is my adaptation for sensitive children and the children that we were, those of us who are HSPs now. It's so important that we take care of ourselves and pay attention to our bodies and our level of arousal or overstimulation. So I'm gonna teach this little exercise. I think it's great for parents to learn it and teach it to their children, but the kids are welcome to watch me here doing it today. And please make this work for you in any way you can. In our, our workshop on differential susceptibility and self-compassion for children, I mentioned how important it is that every day before your family meal, if you all sit down together, if you say a blessing, I, that's wonderful. And if you don't, I recommend that you do some gratitude. You can just thank the people who made the food and the planet that grew it. If that's, if you're more secular and you don't have a structured religion, that's perfectly fine. Gratitude though, on a daily basis, we know improves our mental health and our level of arousal, but so does breath work. So how about just using one little exercise for 60 seconds every single time before your meal. So here this is. So here we go. For bubble breath, bubble fingers, you're going to imagine that you have an air bubble between your hands. So connect your fingers to each other just like this, and you're going to bring them together, but there's a bubble in there. So don't let them touch. Keep your bubble. Just make it as small as you can at the moment. Now, when you breathe in, you're going to let your bubble get big. And when you breathe out, you'll make it small again. So you breathe in and you let your bubble get bigger and bigger and bigger until all your breath is in. And then when you breathe out, you're going to push as you breathe out your bubble back down to small. And you want to have all your air out when your bubble is as small as it can get. Again, breathe in bubble big. Breathe out, bubble small. Breathe in, bubble big. Breathe out, bubble small. Now, guess what? I'll bet that you can make your bubble bigger and by breathing in more. So after you've breathed, you've inhaled, you brought in all your breath, bring in three more puffs of air. Let's try that, ready? Breathe in, bubble big. And then I'm gonna breathe in three more times. And then blow it out. Let's see if we can make it even bigger. This time what we're gonna do is we're going to let our fingers come apart as we breathe in. So you're going to breathe in, bubble big. And then it gets so big, breathe in more air that your arms go out to the sides. Mine are way out here, see? And then breathe out, bubbles come back small, 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 small. Let's try it all together. Okay, breathe in, bubble big. You can breathe out with your nose or your mouth, it doesn't matter, okay? This time I'm gonna breathe in big and my arms are gonna go up. Check this out, breathe in bubble big. <laughs> Wanna try that with me? It's kind of, what's hard for me, it's not so hard for kids because you're really good at this. But for adults, we have a hard time not thinking. But what we want to do is we want to have our arms up and as big as they can be at the exact moment that we have as much air in as we can. And then when we bring them out to the side and back in and down, we want our bubble to be small when all the air is empty out of our lungs. So let's try it. Ready? I, I'm not going to get it perfectly because it's just something I like to try. It makes me think a little bit about my breath. So here we go. Breathe in, bubble big. And out. And down and small. Did you see how when I made my bubble really big out here or up here that I had to breathe, move my arms faster because I couldn't breathe much more slowly, but you can experiment with how slow you can do it. Now we're going to add something to our bubble breath. When you make your bubble big, I want you to imagine that it's glowing with a color. 
and maybe there's some light in it with that color. What color would you choose? Mm -hmm. You know, I think I'm going to choose a really dark teal blue, like the color of the ocean. It, not where I live. I live in California. And my ocean is sometimes very dark blue and sometimes very dark gray. But like in the islands in Hawaii or the Caribbean or the Mediterranean where the water is a, a more of a turquoise color. What color would you choose? Yellow or red or orange like a fire or green like the trees in the grass or blue like the sky or blue like the ocean or purple. Whatever color you like, pink. Pink is a nice glowing color. I don't know if you can tell that my glasses are kind of dark pink today. Okay, here we go. You ready? Breathe in, bubble big. I'm just going this big this time because I'm really picturing the color and the light. And out. It keeps its color and its light as it gets small. You might want to close your eyes so you can really envision it and see it in your mind. Breathe in, bubble big, glowing with the color. And breathe out, bubble small. Now, what if we made the color light bubble go as big as our body? Let's try it. We're gonna take our arms out to the side when it's big. You're gonna see the big colored light glowing, a giant bubble. Okay, ready? Let's try it. You have to use your imagination. Here we go. Breathe in, bubble big. And breathe out, bubble small. Now, when we make it really big, I'm gonna bring it up over my head, out to the side and down so that it covers my whole body. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Breathe in, bubble big. I may have to do a couple extra breaths because I'm making it so big for my whole body. And then I'm going to blow it back out again and bring it in small. Now this time, when I breathe it in, I'm going to bring it into my heart. So I'm going to first bubble big, just right here is big enough because that's bigger than my heart. And I'm going to breathe out. I'm going to make it small. I'm going to let it come right into my chest. So the beautiful glowing color is inside. Now, if you would like to, you could imagine that your glowing color has a feeling with it. I like to imagine that it's calm and peaceful. I love breathing in calm and peace. It makes me feel less worried about things and more relaxed. Maybe it's love. I love breathing in love because everybody loves to feel loved and we know that we have lots of it. We have it to give out and we have it coming into us. So imagine what feeling would you like your light bubble to be? And when we breathe in this time, we're gonna make it really big with the feeling too, and we're gonna make it surround our whole body. You ready? So here we go, your bubble's very small. Imagine the color and then the feeling with it. Maybe it's a warm feeling or a happy feeling. I'm going to go with love today. Okay, here we go. Breathe in, bubble big, really big. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it big. I have my blue love. And then I'm going to bring it all the way around my whole body. And then I'm going to scoop it up and bring it back up to the top. As I breathe out, bringing it in together. I like to think when my light bubble is small, that it gets really dark and intense with lots of love and lots of color. Now one more, just with keeping our fingertips together, breathe in, bubble big. And breathe out and bring your bubble small and into your chest and let it surround your heart. That's bubble breathing. I like it a lot. I hope you liked it too. Really check out and subscribe so you can see more of our little games and exercises and meditations. It's Are You Highly Sensitive? Elaine Friend. Thanks for coming. Bye now.